Hey guys, good morning. So last night we realized that um, obviously all the fruits are, are really, really good, which we knew that yesterday morning, right when the update happened. We knew that you can stack them and we knew that they gave you some really cool boosts. But then as we were like all hatching yesterday, I think we didn't do a whole lot of grinding on the chest and such. And so last night a bunch of us were discovering that um, it gives you a ton of coins if you actually stack a bunch of fruit and then go and hatch on the chess and um i think this is where it's different as far as the temple chess and the dojo chess so they used to be fairly equal like plus or minus 15 million roughly on per tick however we noticed last night that when you grind on the dojo chest using again a ton of fruit um it gives you way more so last night I was getting actually between 9 and 10 billion per tick, but I also had a bunch more fruit. This morning I haven't had a chance to actually get as much fruit or go through it and do that just because I kind of just got up and just got, a, got things going. But as you can see, I'm still getting between like 3.5 billion and what, 4.5 billion, maybe up to even 6 at some times per tick. And that's um, with, you know, I do have a bunch of friends in this server as well, um, but you can see that the money goes up very, very quickly. So... For those of you who are trying to get through any anywhere, like any specific world, if you're stuck in tech, if you're stuck in cat, stuck in pixel, whatever, go and eat a bunch of the fruit. Um, if you're able to get to pixel, I really encourage you to go to the pixel vault and literally just break everything and the fruit will continually spawn as you're doing that. It's really, really fast. I think I did that for like 30 to 45 minutes last night and I ended up with, I think about 300 of each of the fruits, uh, which was crazy. So it's, it's super easy. It's super fast. If you guys also know the spinning technique, you can also do that like in Cat Tiaga or some of the other areas. Um, and it probably works literally everywhere, quite honestly. Um, I just use Pixel Vault because it is such a small area. And so you didn't have to actually like move. Basically, you could just stand in one area and just continually click everything. And it worked really, really, really fast. So um, again, just a really good tip, really fun tip, um, but it does get you a ton of coins. And again, who knows what we're going to need for the next areas because there are all these boosts that have just been released um, and we don't know if they're going to stay or not. Um, hopefully they are because these are actually some really, really good boosts. But if they're not, let's maximize them at this point. Let's use as many as we can. Um, take advantage of what Uncle Preston has given us at this point because um, you never know when Uncle Preston is going to take it away also. so. Um, Yep, go in and do, do it. Make sure you keep hatching as well if you're trying to get those huges. Um, another thing too, if you're not interested or not trying to get the shiny rainbow uh, error dragon for leaderboard or for just you know having a ton of, of uh, power, then you really should probably hatch in normal because the eggs in normal are way cheaper in gems than they are in hardcore. The hardcore gems are so much more expensive. So if you don't have a lot of gems, I really encourage you, if you're just trying to get the huge, to go to normal and try to get it. And uh, it's something where, you know, it's just it's just much cheaper. So for those of you who don't have a ton of gems. Also, if you need gems, I tell this to people all the time who ask for gems. Um, if you need gems, literally, you should just hatch hardcore pets and go and sell them in the plaza. Like, they sell like crazy. And you don't have to sell them for a ton, but you can sell them for whatever you want, quite honestly. Um, and you can negotiate, of course, when you get to the plaza, but hatch the hatch the best egg that you can get to. I would encourage you to do that. And since there all are all these boosts right now, I don't really see any reason why anyone can't hatch um, really good pets because you can get billions of coins off of pretty much anything if you're using these fruit boosts and also using your own boost, which you can get from the daycare for free. And also the server boost that people who are in the servers are very generous and kind to add to it. So, you know, again, super cool update, super fun things that you can be doing. And I just really want you guys to be able to get all the way through hardcore, of course, build those gems up, get those huges and keep having fun. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this helpful and useful. Hope you're having a great day. Happy Sunday and we'll see you guys soon.